And right after this po is magkakaroon po tayo ng praise and worship. Kakantahan po natin yung ating Panginoon ng buong puso sa spirito at sa katotohanan. And right after that is makakaroon po tayo ng isang malamang mensahe mula sa ating Panginoon sa pamamagitan ng kanyang lingkod na si Reverend Bobby Dakel. I know each and every one of you are excited kaya hindi na po natin pakatagalin pa. There is all welcome. Palakpang po natin ang Diyos sa buhay ng LRC AUH Worship Team. So, uh, I know po na some of us, I mean, uh, most of us is may pinagdadaanan. Uh, gawa po ng, sa ating recent na mga calamities, uh, especially this pandemic, I know po na most of us is nahihirapan. But the uh, church, I, I want to share to you the word of God from 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 6 to 7. It says, In this you greatly rejoice, though now for a little while, you may have had to suffer grief in all kinds of trials. These have come so that your faith of greater worth than gold which perishes even though refined by fire may be proved genuine and may result in praise, glory, and honor when Jesus Christ is revealed. Amen? Amen. So let us not forget the grace of God. This same grace uh, saved us. Amen? So God's grace is sufficient. God's grace is enough. So church, I want to encourage you as we worship the Lord tonight, let us use our hands if you are able and yes. sing along with us. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah!
open up for each and every one of us. And Lord, as we continue to worship you, we lift your name on high, oh God, because you are worthy to be lifted up. You are worthy to be glorified and to be exalted. Hallelujah, in Jesus' name. Indeed, no one can be ever be compared to you, oh God.
Every one of us is praying to have the presence of God in our lives, right? Amen. So tonight, I want to thank every one of you right now. Again, who are listening, who are viewing us here in our Sunday prayer live streaming service. Amen? So good evening once more to our LRC Abu Dhabi. Salam po na ating mga primary leaders, lahat ng LRC sa Abu Dhabi. Good evening to everyone. Ganun din ang LRC Dubai. Isa pa muna po ni Sister Myra, ni Brother Milo, lahat po ng mga kapatiran dyan. Good evening sa inyong lahat. So ganun din sa LRC Alain, kay Pastor Jomar, kay Pastora Marisa, sa lahat po ng ating mga leaders and attendees dyan. Thank you so much for viewing us tonight. Thank you so much for joining us. Ganun din sa LRC Dabao, sa ating mga listeners and viewers there. Si Pastora Pei, na po, Kaskeho. Magandang magandang madaling araw dyan sa inyong lahat sa Takurong, sa US, and of course, hindi natin kalilimutan ang katatatag lang na LRC Pilipinas! Woo! Wow! Hallelujah! Sa pamuna po ni Brother Alam. Brother Alam, we miss you. We love you, ha? Ah, pagpatuloy mo lang yung ginagawa mong yan. Maganda yan, anak. We are glad na ikaw ay sagpapatuloy dyan. No? Meron po tayong LRC Pilipinas for everyone. The po, for the information of everyone, ang LRC Pilipinas po is consist of those people na tiga UAE, whatever part of the UAE are you, and then nag-repatriated na back to Philippines. Okay? So, inipon po natin yan. So, if you have relatives, <coughs> o yung mga, <coughs> mga kaibigan mo, excuse me, <coughs> excuse me po, okay? Yung mga kakilala mo, yung mga kasama mo uh, na umuwi na ng Pilipinas, And we want them to be connected sa ating gawain pa rin. I, 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 I suggest na pakikonect po sa atin sa LRC Pilipinas. No? Sa akin po o kay Brother Alan, kung kilala niyo si Brother Alan, no po, siya po yung nagli-lead sa LRC Pilipinas. Siya po yung primary leader natin na umuwi ng Pilipinas at nag extend ng territory ni Lord sa Pilipinas. Wow! That's beautiful, no? We want it. At, uh, salamat po sa Panginoon sa buhay niya, no? ni Brother Alan at lahat po ng mga tao na buo-buo dyan. By the way, ang goal po natin ng LRC Pilipinas is para po yung mga kapatiran natin na nagkakilala. Yung nakakilala lang dito. Na po? Kasi most of us, dito lang kumilala sa Panginoon. Tama? So pag uwi nila ng Pilipinas, we don't want them to lose the presence of God in their lives. Yun lang po yung purpose naman. Kaya nga po, sabi natin, kung meron na silang mga church na inatin na sa Pilipinas, that's fine. Pero kapag wala, please join them In LRC Pilipinas kasi po ang, ang ating goal is for them and their family to bring in the presence of God. Tama? So palakpakan po ulit natin ang Panginoon sa plano niyo po sa LRC Pilipinas. No? Pagpalaay po si Brother Alan at lahat po ng mga kapatiran natin na naigyan. Praise God! Okay, so again, 
What I would like you to do is lahat dito, wow, praise God, ha? meron tayong 134 na, na viewers. Nakaka, Nakaka-bless naman to, no? Sige po, yung 134 na yan, number one na gagawin natin lahat, please comment where you are watching right now. Come on, everybody, please do it so that this this uh, live streaming is mag, ano po, mag-spread around you. Para po, itag natin uh, yung mga baguhan dyan, yung mga first timer. Please like, subscribe, and like the uh, notification bell para po sa next time, ma-notify kayo automatically. Amen? So please, everyone, please, I want you to to, 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 to comment, put a comment, and when you are watching uh, right now. Alright, ayan. Thank you so much sa mga nagko-comment. I pray na lahat na magko-comment, saan man sila na, nanonood right now, Lord, i-bless nyo sila lahat. Ayan. I-bless nyo po yung mga taong nagko-comment right now. O, biglang bibilis, sabi ng dumami. Praise the Lord. Oh, that's Brother Alan, gising na gising po. Alauna 20 na roon. Kapatid, magandang magandang madaling araw sa iyo dyan, sa mga LRC Pilipinas. Ayan. So, salamat po in everyone who are commenting right now. By doing this, our live streaming is where is, is the spread no po, around where you are watching right now. Ayan, okay. So every one of you, I know na lahat po tayo, namatay yung ating, ano, namatay yung ating uh, computer, yung ating laptop, okay? So every one of you, alam ko na lahat po tayo is excited na. No? Lahat, lahat tayo excited na, na malaman kung ano na naman yung message si Lord tonight. What, what kind of message na naman meron si Lord sa ating lahat? At iniwala po ako, naniniwala ako na lahat kayo is very excited na. Okay? So, while we are doing some technical thing dito sa ating uh, center, gusto kong batiin si Sister Amor, Flores Joy de Mapilis, Sister Jubilee from uh, Alain, Menda Agrabante, all from Abu Dhabi Airport, Sister Menda, thank you, Hermani Sario, Aisolanil, Aisolanil, Sonalin, Annalyn, Faith Williams, or Faith Williams. So magentang, magentang, magentang. Uh, anong oras siya? Madaling araw yata. Ito po sa US, ha? Ito yung mga uh, kasama natin sa Alain na nasa US, no? Ayan, yung mga tiga center. Oh, Shane, Brother Shane, Jesus man, good morning, John. Okay? Good morning, Brother Shane. Thank you for keeping yourself uh, um, uh, uh, level up dito po sa mga message ng church natin, no? Si Sir Myra de Guzman, thank you so much for watching. Alain Joy, Arnold Mendoza, Sister Diane, thank you so much, thank you so much. Pastor Jomar, magandang magandang gabi sa inyo lahat dyan. Sister Nora na nasa center din. Sister Angelica, Sister Chekai sa Pilipinas. Yan. Si Brother Yel, Payuran. Yan. Sister Collier, Brother Boyet. Yan. Sa Libel, Brother Boyet. Magandang magandang gabi sa iyo, Sister Jacqueline, Sister Hope, Sister Anne. Ayan, thank you so much. Thank you so much for every one of you na walang sawang sumusuporta sa ating Sunday prayer meeting. No? Again, I would like you to say if you are blessed sa ating, uh, sa ating uh, praise and worship. No? How many of you are blessed? Sige po, comment tayo. Sabihin nyo lang, I am blessed sa presensya ni Lord. I am blessed to our praise and worship. Ayan. No, lahat ng ginagawa natin for you to be connected to the presence of God. Alright? So tonight, okay, I would like to welcome everyone of you. Hindi lang yan, pero po sa, pati po sa pagsasabi na lahat po tayo, all of you, I would like to suggest to ready your ball pens, to ready your book notes, kasi po meron tayong mensahe na maganda na naman from God. Wow, parang pa natin si Lord, 142 na, hallelujah! Okay? And I would like also to request, ito po, tinan nyo ha, sa pagkukomment nyo, dumarami yung mga tao, right? So ito po, more on evangelism itong ginagawa natin, ito po? So tonight, mga kapatid, I would like you to, I would like to talk to you about a very important topic na naman about prayer. Ito po? Uh, one day, I thought, uh, I, I told Pastora Grace, Parang nauubusan na yata ako ng preaching about prayer. <laughs> no po? Parang nauubos na yung mga preaching about prayer. Pero hindi po, si Lord, patuloy pa rin nagbibigay ng wisdom sa atin. Okay? So I would like to give you this, the title of the message tonight. I put this, How to be more consistent in your prayers. Ayan. Kasi po, why? Why? Kasi po, bakit? Why this is the topic that I want to discuss tonight? Because most of the people right now, even though you are a Christian already, no? We are not consistent in our prayer, right? Hindi tuloy-tuloy tayo nagpe-pray. Wala pong, 
Wala po nagtutuloy-tuloy. Minsan, ma maalala mo na lang, dalawang araw, tatlong araw ko pala hindi nag-pray. And to tell you honestly, sometimes kumakain ka na, nakakalimutan mo mag-pray, tama? Nangyayari po sa akin yan. Kaya po, dito gusto kong itong i-discuss natin because there are some tips na I, I want to give to you kung paano yung consistency natin sa prayer, hindi po mawala. Okay? So, this is a very important message and I want you to take note whatever you can take tonight. So tonight, ang pag-uusapan natin is how to be consistent in your prayer. Amen? Let's bow down our head and let's pray first because we want to be consistent, right? Okay. Father in heaven, Mr. Pa, we want to thank you for tonight. We want to thank you for this time, Lord God, that you have given us. Thank you, Father, that once more you gave us a chance to declare your word, to declare your goodness, your faithfulness to, uh, to many people right now. And thank you, Lord, for your trust to us, especially to your servant right now. Again, Lord, Holy Spirit, we pray that you will talk in behalf of me, Lord God. You will be our speaker tonight, Lord. And I declare that you, are, you can move in this place, in everyone's life right now. Touch the heart of everyone for us to be consistent in our communication to you through prayer. Salamat po, Panginoon, for tonight. And thank you, Lord, for your word. Thank you, Lord, for the wisdom, the knowledge. And I pray that you will bless everyone who are listening right now, who are viewing us right now. In the name of Jesus, we pray. And everyone will say, Amen. Amen, amen and amen. Thank you, Lord, for the 134 people who are viewing to us. Okay? So, again, to show you how to be more consistent, uh, consistent in our prayer, so, paano ba tayo magiging tuloy-tuloy? No? How to be consistent. No? So, I will give you some tips tonight because this is very uh, very important. And these tips is uh, just again as per experience. No? Uh, since I became a Christian, ito po yung mga experience na I will share sa inyo. And sa totoo lang, I must confess, as I said earlier, na dumating din ako sa buhay ko, no po, that even I am already a pastor, even a Rodney Pastor, nakakalimutan ko talagang uh, mag-pray sometimes, no? Amen? Oo nga, mali nga yata yung consistent. Dapat pala consistent. Okay. Sorry po, tao lang. Nagkakamali, no? Ang pastor niyo po ay talagang tao lang nagkakamali. I want to correct that uh, English here. No? How to be more consistent. Okay? Hindi po consistent. Sorry po, ha? Sorry, tao lang tayo, no? Brother Shane, sorry ha, for my English, okay? <laughs> okay, alright, so let's continue, okay? So, sometimes po kasi, kahit na Christian ka na, even though you're a long time Christian, sometimes, let's be honest with ourselves, we forget sometimes still to pray, right? Nakakalimutan pa rin natin manalangin, no? Uh, you know, uh, I would like to tell you, one day, uh, sometimes when I was still uh, working in Zion University, because I was so busy, nagtatrabaho po tayo, may work ka na, then pagdating mo sa bahay, you're checking your emails, uh, emails related work, and, and then some weekends, nagtatrabaho ka pa rin, and then meron pa social media, uh, uh, attending your family, no? Sometimes nakakalimutan po natin to because we are so busy, no? Now, you have, you have to make sure that as a Christian, the reason why we're telling you this is because I don't want you to be, to miss a communication with God. Huwag po natin kalimutan. So my question right now to you, my question right now is, when was the last time you really talked to God? Amen? Well, somebody will tell you, uh, uh, Pastor, I just talked to God uh, before before we open this uh, live streaming. No, 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 no. That is not the, 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 the kind of talk that I want to hear from you. I mean, I mean, yung prayer, now with all your mind, heart, and soul. No? Kailan ka na nalangin sa Panginoon na talagang with all your mind, heart, and soul? Yung a kind of prayer that you are not in a rush. Yung hindi ka nagmamadali. Kasi sometimes, when you wake up in the morning and you want to pray, because you are late, you are in a rush. Tama? You, you are not giving so much time to pray. Uh, giving time, a quiet time for God. Tama? So, uh, a, a kind of prayer that uh, really excite, uh, exciting. I mean, yung excited ka talaga mag-pray. Tama? Meron mga ganun eh. Sometimes kasi, ang nangyayari sa atin, yung, yung dahil nagpe-pray ka na lang, why? Because you, you just want to pray. Para lang masabi nag-pray ka, no? No? Tama? Ewe po ba? Yung, yung, yung a kind of prayer that is specific and willing to wait for an answer from God. 
Tama? Yun yung mga prayer na sinasabi ko. Yun yung kind of talk na sinasabi ko rito. Kasi kahit po minsan, kapag tayo nagpa-pray, yung gusto mo nalang gawin mo, yung part mo sa question. Or I, I need to pray because I'm a Christian. No? But yung excitement sa puso mo, yung total dedication, wala talaga. In other words, masabi lang that you finish praying, okay na. So tonight, my goal is I want every one of us to be consistent and serious in our prayer as a Christian. No? So I want to have it, I want to I want you to do it from tonight or for this very moment or after this message onwards. Kailangan po tandaan natin mabuti to kasi gusto ko hangga't maaari as an LRCians, no po? Dito po sa church na to, lahat tayo maging consistent in our communication with the Lord. Amen? So tonight, I have here a number of tips, no? Meron po ako mga tips dito, mga 110 na tips to, no? Dami, no? For us to be consistent with our prayer starting tonight onwards. So let's go to our tip number one, okay? So ito po yung tip number one for you to be consistent in your prayer. I said here, schedule your prayer time. Ayan. Tip number one. Schedule your prayer time. Dapat po, alam mo, schedule yung oras mo, kung ano oras ka magpe-pray. Dapat po, may schedule tayo. Alam niyo po, bad ko, bad ko inuna to. Kasi po, it's amazing to think that we use our smartphone in many ways. Tama? Including scheduling everything in your cellphone. Tama po ba? Pag may meeting ka, you put it in your cellphone. Kapag mayroon kang date, you put it in your cellphone. Kapag may gusto kang bayaran na bill, you put it in your cellphone para hindi mo makalimutan. But accept the time with God. Tama? Accept the time with God. Nakakalimutan po natin mag-schedule ng time natin kay God. Which should be the most important thing for me in our daily schedules. Tama? Dapat po, importante yan. So, from now on, I want you to schedule your prayer time. Ilagay nyo po sa inyong cellphone. No? Eme po ba? I, I, I want you to put it there. I put an alarm. No? At least two times or three times a day. Mag-pray po tayo. Tumawag tayo sa Panginoon. Tama po ba? So, let's read what it says from the book of Mark. Ito po yung sabi sa book of Mark. Before they break, listen, Next morning, Jesus got up and went out to an isolated place to pray. Ito mo, ang Panginoong Jesus mismo, Jesus Himself, no? Before they break in the morning, no? He, he was getting up, mabangon siya, uh, He is going to an isolated place for what? To pray. Tama? He has a schedule for prayer. Naglalagay siya ng schedule para magising at magdasal. Tama? So, ilalagay mo na yan sa smartphone mo, no? Sa panahon natin ngayon, you need to put it in your smartphone, most especially when you wake up in the morning. Okay? And I will tell you, it doesn't matter if there is an AM or PM or, or whatever. Because some people, they are night shift, right? So, hindi po importante na uh, AM na magpe-pray ka. Hindi po importante yun. Importante, before you went to sleep, before you went to bed, you pray to God, and when you wake up, you pray also. Tama? Sometimes some people, they're waking up because they're night shift, they're waking up in the afternoon. Yung umaga pa, nagising ka na, patulog pa lang sila. Tama? Meron po mga ganon. So once you wake up, once you open your eyes, dapat po yung alarm na yan, kasunod na yung prayer mo. Amen po ba? Are you with me? So the first thing that you will do is that when you get up from bed, Go to a quiet place, an isolated pray, a place to pray. Like what Jesus is doing during His time here on earth. Eh, pastor, ang pasok po, 8 a.m. ng umage. Oh, eh, di walang problema. Mag-pray ka muna before ka pumasok. Eh, pastor, nag-a-alarm po ako. Anong oras? 7.20. Eh, wala ka ng time mag-pray. Ito yung sinasabi ko, you put a dedicated time to pray. If your alarm goes off at 7.20, put at least another 20 minutes, 30 minutes for you to pray. Tama? Put an alarm at least 6.45 in the morning so that you have lots of time for God before you go to office. Tama? Are you listening to me? Put a time to pray. Amen? Well, I remember when I was uh, still working in Zion University, no? Kaprasong prayer lang ako pag-ising ko. Siya sabi ko, Lord, thank you for another morning. Thank you for the strength. Thank you for another life, another day. And then when I sit in the car, 
I have arrived 40 minutes talking to God before I reach my office. 40 minutes talking to God. Right? In the morning. Na po, minsan nag-worship lang ako. Mamaya sabihin ko sa inyo yan, yung mga, yung mga prayers na ganyan, no? Eh, Pastor, eh, kasi po, uh, kailangan ba talaga mag-pray? Yeah! You need to pray as a Christian. You need it. So, simulan tonight, put on schedule. Schedule muna yan. For you to have reminder and, and from your cell phone. Kasi yan ang lagi natin hawak. Tama? Amen po ba? Are you with me? So, put a time. Put a schedule. Okay? So, let's go to number two. Tip number two. This is it. Find a prayer partner. Eto, napakaganda dito. Okay? Ano yung goal natin dito? For you to be a consistent uh, Christian who are praying to God in a, a daily ma in, in, in a daily uh, schedule, gusto ko po, simula ngayon, I want to introduce this because this is what God has given me, magkaroon po tayo ng partner, prayer partner. Amen? Let's start this. Everybody who are listening right now, we have around 152 listeners right now. In Jesus' name, thank you so much. Listen to me. Find someone who can be your prayer partner. Amen? Find someone. Alam niyo po, honestly speaking, honestly speaking po, this is one area of my Christian life that I really need to improve. Ano yun? Yung prayer po life. No po? I, I, I'm honest to you. Don't say that I'm not praying. Of course I'm praying. But I want to improve that more. Yung communication natin kay Lord. Kasi this is our strength. We are, we are getting strength from the Lord if we are always praying and communicating to Him. Right? So, bakit ko po sinabi ito? Why we need to improve it? Why? Because I just realized that while preparing this message po, that this is a very good tip for each and every one of us to be consistent in our prayer. Di ba? Tama? Yung meron kang prayer partner para ma-remind ka. Tama? Have, have an accountability to remind your prayer partner that this is the right time for us to pray. And because this is a very important and delicate decision, you really need to pray for it and make sure that the kind of person na pipiliin mo is, eto po, dapat, number one, tama? Prayer partner, number one, someone that you can trust. Don't ever ever try to find a prayer partner di mo pagkakatiwalaan. Baka lahat ng mga pinagpe-pray mo, uh, para uh, sinasabi mong i-pray niya, makita mo sa People's Journal, sa, sa College Times, nakalagay na raw. Why? Because chinismis niya na lahat. So kung hahanap ka ng prayer partner, number one rule, someone that you can trust. Tama? Remember, ha? what is the goal? For you to be reminded to pray every time. So you need to someone that a prayer partner with you. No po? So someone that should be trustworthy. Tawo ba? Yung, 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 hindi, hindi yung nangutang ka lang ng 100, pinautang ka, ginawa mo ng prayer partner. Hindi po yun. Someone that you, you really can trust. No? Gawin natin pa number one uh, uh, rule siya. Number two. At number two, someone who is reliable. Yung alam mong dependable na tao. Yung consistent in words. Na po? E may po ba? Yung hindi makakalimot na i-remind ka o prayer time na natin. Di ba? Ito na yung second time na magpe-pray tayo today. So let's pray. Tama ba? Yung uh, so, simple message lang yan. Simple PM lang. Di ba? Tayo lang natin hawak yung social media. Tama po ba? So PM lang. Reminder, put it in your schedule. Tama? Put an alarm in your schedule that every day I need to pray this with my partner. Tama po ba? And say your prayer request to them. Amen? Are you with me? Number two. Ah, number three. Someone who is committed. Ayan. Committed to pray. Hindi committed ang utak. Amen? <laughs> Amen po ba tayo ron? So someone is, someone is devoted to your goal. Ano ba yung goal? Yung parang till death do us part, tama? Yung till death do us part, magpapanalangin ng tayong dalawa. Eh, may po ba? Eh, maganda yan because somebody will remind you every day para maging consistent tayo, consistent tayo sa ating prayer life. Okay? So basically, what I'm trying to say is what we want here to build is yung accountability to each other. Tama? Accountability to each other. Yung prayer partner mo, meron kang accountability sa kanya. To each other. Meaning, for myself and for my partner. 
Okay? So I can see that this is a great tip for us to be consistent. Huh? Why did I say that? Because when there is something that is unnatural in our daily lives, alam mo yung mga unnatural? Ito yung mga unnatural eh. Yung may mag-message sa'yo, kailangan mo mag-pray, unnatural to. Tama ba? Yung hindi naman talaga part ng daily lives ng isang tao. So we really need to set an appointment. Kailangan po may appointment, may magre-remind sa'yo, put it in your smartphone, that this is the right time to pray, even 2-3 minutes lang kung nasa office ka, run in the private place, and then just utter a word for, uh, to God. Tama po ba? Huwag tayong bibitel kasi kailangan, kailangan natin itong, especially these days. Amen? That, that, that the evil days are coming. Amen? Ma maiba lang ako, maiba lang ako. Ibahin ko lang ng konti, ha? Alam niyo po ba, nakita ko sa Facebook, you see, Pope Francis po, uh, in-invite na yung mga tao for a one-word government. At ito pa, ang Israel po, pwede na pumasok sa mga, sa UAE. Meaning, yung pong nakasulat sa Bible po, nangyayari na talaga. I'm preparing for it. Be excited! Ituturo ko po yan. Kasi po, biblical yung nangyayari ngayon. Yan na po yung mga signs Meron po sinasabi sa Bible, ha? bigyan mo lang yun. Yung sabi niya, yung peace and unity. Ayan, isa yan sa mga sign. Kapag nagkaroon na ng peace and unity ang Israel, ang chosen nation, against these Arab people, sign na yan. O, ito nyo, nangyayari na. Tapos yung one world government, ito. Ito, ito, ito nangyayari yan. Itong pandemic na to, saan tayo dadali nito? Saan tayo dadali? This is first time na na ating na-experience for the last 50 years. At least, I'm 23 now. Ngayon ko lang na-experience itong ganito. No? So, right now, hindi natin alam kung hanggang kailan ito. Tama? So, we need to be alert in talking to God, in praying to God. We need to be consistent in our prayer. Amen? So that we could learn how to be more consistent and disciplined kung meron kang prayer partner. Amen po ba? So, what we'll do tonight? What we'll do tonight? Ngayon pa lang, right now, ito pong 150 people people who are watching and listening to us. What you will do tonight? Think of someone. Because in the end, I will lead this prayer sa partner mo. Okay? So, itataas natin mamaya yung iniisip mong partner mo. From starting today, tomorrow, mag-start na tayo. Halimbawa, for me, ah, siyempre, the best partner that I could have is my wife. Tama? So, I will talk to her and uh, we will remind each other that's prayer time. Amen? And alam al 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 niyo po kung bakit ko nasasabi ito Because meron po tayo, kami po mga primary leaders Meron po kaming mga time na kami po yung pray 24-7 Tama? Bakit yun? Bakit yun? No? Bakit yung pag 24-7 tayo nagpe-pray? Uy, alas dos na, it's my time Amen? You need to run, right? You need to pray, tama? Bakit yung mga ganong ba Dapat ba kapag lang merong mga ganong time? Dapat every day Amen. 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 We need Amen. to pray every day. Hindi lang, hindi lang, hindi lang dahil mayroong mga ganung gawain. Tama? So, let's go to tip number three. Tip number three. Ito na po tip number three. Do not feel limited by space. Ano pong ibig ko sabihin dito? What is the meaning of this? What do I mean by this? Kasi po, so totoo lang, makinig po tayo mabuti. May mga tao kasi, there are some people that they used to pray inside their room next to their bed with the eyes closed. Tama? Meron mga tao po kasi na nasanay na manalangin sa loob ng kwarto nila, nakaluhod sa tabi ng kama, nakapikit, yan po yung mga gusto nilang prayer. Now, what I would like you to do is do not feel limited by space. Ano pong ibig sabihin yan? In other words, there are some people na who cannot pray talaga hindi lang luluhod sa tabi ng kama nila. So tonight, I want to encourage you to take advantage of every single opportunity to pray. Meaning, kahit nasaan ka, nag-gym ka, tumatakbo ka sa, sa treadmill, nag-workout ka, of course you can pray. Amen? Then, nag-jogging ka, tumatakbo ka, you can pray, definitely. Tama? Kahit na nagsuswimming ka, you can definitely pray. Wala pong problema yon. Even you, you are housewife, cleaning the house, cooking in the kitchen, cleaning the bathroom, take that time. Do not be limited by space. You can pray wherever you are. Tama? Para po yung consistency natin na andoon. Ano yung po sabi ng Bible? Ito po yung sabi ng Bible. Sabi po sa Thessalonians, pray without ceasing. Sabi po dyan, in, 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 in other translations, sa NIB po, sabi sa NIB, New International Version, pray continually. Tapos ang sabi niya sa NLT, sa New Living Translation, sabi niya po, do not stop praying. Meaning, 
Ang pagdarasal po, wala talagang pinipiling lugar. You can pray anywhere. So don't, don't be limited by the space. Tama mo ba? Ito po sabi sa Ephesians 6. Sabi po sabi doon, 6.18, pray at all times and on every occasion. Ayan po yung sabi po sa, sa, sa Ephesians. Tama po ba? So that's why, pag sinabi kasi pray at all times, hindi ka na kailangan, oy, nasa office ako eh. I, do, I, I cannot pray right now because I used to pray next to my bed in my room. No, 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 no. Wherever you are, you can pray. So don't be limited in the space and in the time, right? Amen. So, pag sinabi kong don't be limited in the time, pray at all times, ito po yung susunod. Do not be limited by time. Ano? Ano ang ibig sabihin sabihin niyan? Pag sinabi kong do not be limited by time, when you pray, okay, kahit na maiksi lang, kahit na mahaba, wala pong problema. And in, the other, in, other, in other way, kahit na po mag-pray ka na maiksi, mahaba, no issues, and at the same time, anytime. Dama? Eh, pastor, kasi po pag nagpe-pray ako, 3 minutes lang, walang problema roon. It's fine. Walang problema. My, 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 my uh, goal here is for you to be consistent. Tama po ba? Alam niyo po, sometimes nga, nagturo ako sa inyo one day, di ba? Na, natandaan niyo yung turo ko one day that the best prayer sometimes yung mga short lang, but specific. Tama? So, mahaba man ang prayer mo, maiksi man ang prayer mo, doesn't matter, basta lang nagpe-pray ka consistently. And then anytime yan, hindi lang sa umaga, hindi lang sa tanghali, whenever you feel that you need to talk to God, please talk to God through prayer. And then one time, mayroon po ako nasabi sa inyo, ito po yung sabi ko one time, I may not pray for very long, but I do not go very long without praying. Ayan, yun po yung sabi ko. You remember that? Yung sinabi ko nga yung parang hindi naman ako nagpe-pray ng matagal, pero hindi naman ako walang prayer na tumatagal. Tama po ba? Yung meaning, yung lumilipas ang mga araw na hindi ka nagpe-pray. Tama? So, both ways it works together. Kung ikaw yung mga tao na pinililipas yung isang araw na hindi nagdarasal, yung, yung isa kang tao, isa kang believer na hindi lilipas yung araw na hindi ka nagdarasal, God bless you. At lalo na kung may silang, pero naman consistent, God bless you na. Okay? Tandaan nyo po, I must, we must realize no po, that God is interested always to hear from you. Dama? Gusto ng Panginoon, nakikipag-usap ka sa Kanya. Whatever situation na meron ka, even though you are frustrated, pray. No? Even though you are having a trouble, you must pray. Dapat po yon. Mahaba man ang or maising oras, you need to pray. Kasi po yun ang kailangan. Amen? Tips number five. Ito po. Ayan, number five na tayo. Ano sabi ito? Slip away, excuse yourself to go pray. So what do I mean about this? Ano po ibig sabihin ko dito? Ang ibig sabihin ko po, because you have set a time to pray, naglagay ka na ng set, nararamdaman mo na kailangan ka mag-pray everyday. No? So may biglaan kang bisita na dumating, for example, nag-alarm yung iyong cellphone, nasa bahay ka, meron ka mga visitors, nag-remind yung partner mo, oy, prayer time na, nakita po, grabe, five minutes na, nag-remind na pala siya, oo nga pala, so you need to be slip away, you need to excuse yourself. Tama po ba? Pag kasi pag sinabi mo, entertain mo muna yung bisita mo, wala na, makakalimutan mo na after the, after the time. Kapag po may prayer partner ka, ang kagandahan nun, nire-remind ka. So you need sometimes to Excuse yourself. Ano ba naman yung 2, 3 minutes, 5 minutes, di ba? Talk na lang. Talk na lang kay Lord. Wag lang yung hindi natin siya makausap. Na po? Hindi, hindi magiging dahilan ang mga bisita mo o yung mga kaibigan mo for you to talk to God through prayer. Amen. Dapat priority natin palagi yung pagdarasal. You can even invite your friends. Right? Sabi mo sa mga kaibigan mo, uh, 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 friends, uh, kailangan ko si mag-pray eh. Devotion ko to kay Lord eh. Gusto nyo join na kay sa akin. Pray tayo. Di ba, wala naman masama, pagpapray ko kayo. Di ba? So, it's a way for them to be evangelized also at the same time. Kasi po, kung mag skip ka ng sandali, I don't think na may problema yung mga friends mo. Lalo na kung prayer talaga ang gusto mong gawin. Tama? Tingin po, would you believe that si Jesus, ganyan ang ginagawa niya? Ito po si Jesus, sabi niya, oh, so he himself often withdrew in the wilderness and prayed. Ayan, nag-exit ang Panginoon palagi. Now, alam niyo po ba na during the ministry of the Lord, so many people are flocking to hear Jesus to preach. Marami pong tao naghanap sa Kanya para lang marinig na magturo siya. And, and, and most of them, they're coming to Jesus for, for their sicknesses to be healed. 
No, but Jesus, listen to this. Si Jesus mong Panginoon natin, He often withdrew to the, from the crowd to a quiet and solitary places. Why? To do His prayer with the Father. Tama. So, palagi siyang may exit. Hindi lang kasi sa oras. But, but, but dahil feel niya na mag-pray. Tayo po ganun din. Hindi lang dahil ni-remind ka or whatever. Kung you need to pray because you have a situation, pray. Don't don't hesitate to pray po. Sa totoo po mga anak, maraming bagay ang kumakain sa attention natin. Tama? Marami pong bagay. And we often run ourselves attending to those things that we need to do first. Tama? But like Jesus, however, we should take time to withdraw to a quiet time. Tama po ha? O yung isolated place. Tama po? So if this is scheduled for you to pray, and your friend has called you to pray, come on, go out, exit, whatever you're doing, and pray. Even do sa office, background na tayo na, even do nasa office ka, na andoon ka na sa loob ng office, and, and, your, P, and your PM partner, prayer, prayer partner, uh, uh, send you a message that you need to pray, exit ka lang ng konti. Tama ba? Punta ka lang sa banyo. Ano ba yung five minutes sa banyo? Talk to God because this is very important. Okay? Honestly, this couple of months, I've been realizing na po, na kailangan, kailangan po talagang iligtahin lahat sa prayer. Most especially these days. Na po? One thing I realized, sinyo po to, one thing I realized, strength comes from God and we can only be strengthened by spending time with Him in prayer. Tawa ba? yung lakas na kailangan natin, especially this time, we need to take it from God. Po? Yung witnesses mo, itaas mo lahat sa Panginoon. And when you are talking to Him, in, uh, honestly, when you're talking to Him, you know, you're, you're finding time to pray, no? yung strength na kailangan mo sa Panginoon, pwede mo kunin. Diyan tayo lumalakas. No? When, when we spend more time in prayer, we need to really develop the po, yung our prayerful life. Na po? Kasi po dito tayo buhugot ng lak sa Panginoon. Hindi lang dahil may kailangan ka. Even if you are overwhelmed, even if you are so blessed, come on, let's pray and thank God for that. Amen po ba? Amen. Amen. Kasi po, uh, maaaring iba sa inyo naisip that you don't have time. Si Jesus nga, di ba? Look at Jesus. Ano ba yung mga ministry ni Jesus? He was discipling His 12. He was preaching to multitude. He ministered to many people. He was in demand during his time of ministry. People was pulling him just to hear his word, following him wherever he goes. He was always on the road. He travels a lot by walking, huh? by walking. He was doing miracles there and here. He was healing people there and all sorts of things that is going on to his ministry. But remember, he always find time to excuse himself just to pray. Right? So, kung ang Panginoon nga, busy-busy rin eh. Kaya don't tell me na busy ka, wala kang time. Si Lord ba may time? Pero tingnan mo, binibigyan niya ng importance sa mag-pray. Alright? So, let's proceed to number six. Let's go to number number six. Ito po yung number six. Don't limit yourself to one time of prayer. Ito po yung gusto kong ideen right now. Do po, be creative. Do po, sa inyong prayer. Switch your daily prayer off. Ano ba ibig sabihin ko rito? Ibig sabihin ko, minsan, yung focus ng prayer mo, baguhin mo, kita niya, bibiyama ng chance, ha? Ito po, sometimes, mag-pray ka, panay-confession lang. Tama? Panay-confession lang. Don't pray, don't pray anything else. For example, in the morning, no? or, or, or uh, in the afternoon, or lunch time, or whatever, mag-pray ka sa Panginoon, 2-3 minutes to 5 minutes, panay-confession lang. Lahat ng kasalanan mo, lahat ng nagawa mo from morning until that moment. Tama mo ba? So every day, panay kasalanan lang. Just ask for uh, uh, forgiveness of sin. Dapo? Lahat ng nasabi mo, naisip mo, na hindi karapat dapat, yun lang ang focus mo. And say in Jesus' name. Tapos. Then minsan naman, pagdating ng 3, uh, after 3 o'clock, o oh, yung medyo inaanto ka na, ang prayer mo naman about worship lang. Diba? Kung nasa, kung nasa office ka, play a very soft music. Dapo? Yung ikaw lang nakakarinig. Dapo? Or kung nasa labas ka, put your headset and just worship God in your prayer. Tama po ba? So this is a way of prayer then. You know, worship ka kay Lord. So sometimes, ang gawin mo naman, hindi lang worship. Thank God naman. Panay pasasalamat naman ang prayer lang. 
thank God that you're still alive. Thank God that your parents are free of any viruses. Thank God for everything, for your work, for your strength, that you are healed, that you are blessed. Tama? Ano'y thanking nila lang? Ganun lang, para po, para po hindi tayo makalimot, tawa mo ba? Yung lagyan mo ng variety ba? Kasi sometimes, pag tayo nagpe-pray, you set mo ng prayer, yun din, yun at yun din eh. Di ba? So, bigyan natin ng variety para po hindi tayo mag-board sa prayer. Para po excited tayo. Yung, yung, yung maalala mo in a day na, oh, hindi pa pala ako nakapag-worship kay God. Ito yung time ko mag-pray para i-worship siya. Now, come on, practice it. Let's do it. Na po, let's do it. Ibukod pa yung mga prayer mo about a food, about everything na ginagawa mo. Tama? So, sometimes, maglaro naman tayo ng prayer about interceding. Ano meaning nito? Pray for someone. Pray for your leaders. Pray for your cell group. Pray for your neighbors, your office mates, your flatmates. Tama? Pwede interested ka lang. Kung meron may nagpapapray ng may sakit, pray for them. Pwede ganun lang. And then in Jesus' name, tapos. Wala nang iba pang prayer nyo lang. And then next, pray for petitions. Ayan. Lahat ng gusto mong hingin sa kanya, diyan mo hingin. Everything na gusto mong hingin for your family, for your kids, for your work, for your for yourself. Tama? So, panit petitions lang. So, para po hindi tayo mag-board sa ating everyday prayer, don't limit yourself to one type of prayer. Yan po yung limang prayer na gusto ko isuggest sa inyo. Tawag po ba? Gawin po natin yan from this day onwards. The goal is wag laging ganon ng ganon para hindi ka magsawa. Amen po ba? Kasi sometimes, to tell you honestly, dahil pa ulit-ulit lang yung prayer mo, sometimes para sa, Lord, I copy and paste yung yesterday, ha? Ganun na rin. Tama po ba? Kasi tinatamad ka, nagmamadali ka. Pwede ba yon? Tama? Amen? So, hindi po ganun. So, vlog nyo mo ng, ng, ano, ng variety. Para po, para po magkaroon ka ng chance na maging excited ka. Oh, di pa ako nagpagpasalamat kay Lord. Pagpasok mo na ako sa banyo. Magpe-pray mo na ako kay Lord. Lock mo yung, yung company toilet ninyo. Mag-pray na kay Lord doon. Tama? Mag-worship ka sa Kanya. Lalo na kung break time ka. Amen? You can do that. You know what? I will tell you guys, kapag ginawa niyo yung palagi, yung level ng spirit mo matis tindig pa tindig ka. Ako na magsasabi sa inyo yan. Okay? Ako na magsasabi sa inyo. Last one, but not the least. Number seven, write down your prayer request. Yan yung ginagawa natin. If you're inter interceding to someone, write down the prayer request. Kailangan po sinusulat natin yan. Amen po ba? Kasi po, pag hindi mo sinulat, makakalimutan mo. You can use also your cell phone. No? Use your cell phone also. Po, i-take note po sa mga notes mo roon. Po, now. So, yan po yung mga tips na gusto ko ibigay sa inyo for tonight. And again, before we go to our prayer right now, this time, I want you to comment, please, in agreement. Po, 143 people, please comment in agreement when you hear someone is praying here, say Amen. Say thank you, Lord. Okay. Say, Lord, I would like to. I, I would like to pray also for my parents. Kaya hindi namin na banggit, no? Come on, put it down there by commenting it. Because by doing that, yung prayer natin agree tayong lahat. Kasi kaya hindi naman tayo in one room. Lahat tayo nakikita nga agree. Tandaan yung mga anak. Ang goal ko tonight is for you to be a responsible Christian for you to develop yung sarili mo, for you to have a prayerful life, dahil po kailangan, kailangan, kailangan natin yan. For us to grow more in our walk with Jesus. So be consistent in your prayer. Be consistent in reminding one another, your partner mo. And be consistent in reminding yourself. Amen? Amen po ba? So tonight, sabi ko rito, God bless everyone. Let's pray. So tonight, don't leave. Huwag kayong aalis. In a matter of second, mamamatay lang to kasi tatayo yung mga prayer uh, intercessors natin dito for tonight. Amen? So don't go. Please comment. And right now, before we do this, I want you to think of that person na gusto mong makapartner in your prayer. Okay? Think of that person. And I will pray for you tonight before we close this. Amen? Don't go away. We will go back in two seconds. Say thank you, O oh God, for your revelation through Pastor Bob, O oh God. Amen. That we should have us to spend time to you, O oh God. That Lord, 
before we start the day, Lord, we offer first our first hour in your presence, O oh God. Amen. So that the whole day, Lord, will be surrendered to you, Father God. Because we don't know these uncertain times, Lord, what will happen tomorrow or any hour in our life, Lord. That is very important, Lord. We trust you, O oh God, for the rest of our life, O oh God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. I pray, Lord God, I pray, Lord, that you will continue, Lord, to give us this divine intervention, Lord, that we should, Lord, offer everything to your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. You are a God who never changed. You are a God, Lord God, who is living. You are a God, Lord, who provides, oh God. Hallelujah. Lord, hallelujah, Father. Thank you so much, Lord God, for tonight, for the whole day that you gave us, Father God. Thank you, God, for the strength. Thank you, God, for the blessing. Thank you, God, for the work that we have. Thank you, God, for every opportunity to live in this world, Lord. Thank you so much, oh God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Before we lay down, Lord, we ask for forgiveness, Lord, that you will cleanse our hearts, Lord God, so that we are worthy, Lord, to be used, Lord God, to lay down the prayers of your people, of your children, Father. Cleanse our hearts, Lord. Cleanse our hearts, our mind, Lord. Forgive us our sins, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Lord God. And tonight, Lord, I start my prayer, Lord God, for those who seek for a job, oh God. For those, Lord God, who wants, Lord, that their visas, Lord, will be provided. And for those who want breakthrough in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Lord, you are a God, Lord God, who provides. You are Jehovah Rapha, Lord God. You are Jehovah Jireh, oh God. And tonight, Lord God, I speak, Lord, that you will open the windows of heaven right now, oh God, because you say in your word, Lord, those, Lord God, who not, Lord God, and asked, Lord, it will be given. That And as we knock, it will be open, oh God. Lord, right now, let your heavens, Lord, will be open. The floodgates of heaven, Lord, will be open in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. First, Lord God, we come against those devil, Lord, who steal, Lord God, to kill and destroy the hope of your people. Lord God, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray for our Lord Robert Galeta for work, oh God. For Joko Peligro, for Mary Grace, Lord, for Joko, Lord, for the visa processing, Lord, for Mary Grace, for work, Rona, work, for Maggie, Janice, Jane, Kat, Jelly Abba, Marvick Correge, Gemma de Machilio, Michael Tan, Janeline Laurete, Chris Achenza, Reina de Guzman, Miko for the visa processing. Janelle Laurette for the job that will not hinder her to serve God in Jesus' name. Amen. For Angelica Ruar, May Villanueva, and Rilay De Mundo for the strength, wisdom, and knowledge for the work. For Annalyn Acosta for visa processing. For Josie. Gilia and Resta for work and security, oh God. Amen. I pray for the work also of Fritz Ag Agadepa, Amen. Grace De Leon, Lani Labadan, Mariel Silvano, Cherry Rose Balansag, Xavier Shan Lacson, Jemsel yes, Lacson, Christopher Gombok, Furley Akab, Gemma Nervis, Joyce Salo, Julian Valdez, and Lord. Sa mga kapatid ko na hindi po nabanggit ang pangalan, Lord, yes. in the name of Jesus na LRC, Father God, at yung mga kamag-anak po nila, Panginoon, na walang trabaho, Father God. I pray, Lord God, and I declare, Lord God, that this unemployment will come to pass in Jesus' name, that it will no longer, Father God, in the name of Jesus, that, Lord, they will have a greater opportunity, Panginoon, that, Lord God, yung CVs, Panginoon, na kanila pong naipamigay, in every company, yes. let your glory will be shine yes. on them, Father God. Makita, Panginoon, yung skills nila, yung talent po nila, Panginoon, through their CVs, Panginoon. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah, Father God, we trust you, oh God. Amen. We trust you na kayo po ang kumikilos at kayo po ang kumukontrol ng lahat at kayo po ang source ng lahat, Panginoon. You are the giver of everything, oh God. Right now, touch those companies, Panginoon. Hallelujah, Father God. Salamat, Lord God. Kayo po ang Diyos, Lord God, na hindi nagbabago, Panginoon. Yes. Kayo po ang Diyos ni Abraham and Isaac yes. hanggang ngayon. You are a miracle, God, oh Jesus. 
Jesus. Lord, sometimes we are limited, Lord, but we must always think of that we have a limitless God who is the owner of this universe, oh God, who is the creator of heaven and earth, Lord, that we keep on trusting to you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, touch mo yung mga kapatid ko, yung pananampalataya na liya, Panginoon, ay lalo pong lumalim, at hindi po sila mag-give up, but they will put their trust to you, that they will put their hope to you, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Sometimes, Lord, nakakaramdam po sila, Lord, yan ang panghihina, Panginoon, but right now, in the name of Jesus, I pray for increase of faith in Jesus' name, Panginoon. Salamat, Lord, sa hope, O God, sapagkat kayo lamang po ang nagmamayari ng buhay po namin, at kayo lamang ang Kinabukasan po namin, Panginoon. Lord, right now, we give, Lord, our full trust to you, oh Jesus. Hallelujah. We pray for more testimonies of answered prayers, Lord. Katulad ng pagbura, Panginoon, ng mga pangalan na nandito noon, Panginoon, sapagkat sinagot mo na, Lord God, ang mga panalangin po namin, Lord. Right now, I pray for increase of testimonies and answered prayers, Panginoon. Salamat, oh God. Favor upon favor be upon us all, Panginoon. I pray and I rebuke favoritism. I rebuke racism, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, salamat, O God. Right now, I declare prosperity in every aspect of our life. And I pray victory in all aspects of our life, Lord. Salamat, Lord. Salamat, Panginoon. We give you all the glory and praises. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Purin ka po, Panginoon. Salamat po, Panginoon, sa isang privilege, Lord God, na nagagamit mo po kami, Panginoon, binang empty vessels, Panginoon, sa aking pong harapan. Lord, uh, nawa po, Panginoon, sa oras na ito, Lord God, aming pong dalangin, o Lord God, ang lahat ng mga pangalan dito, Lord God, na may sakit, o Lord God. Uh, sinabi niyo po, Panginoon, sa iyong aklat, Panginoon, sa iyong banal na kasulatan na kayo ang nakilang manggagamot, o Lord God. Lord, naalala ko, Panginoon, yung iyong pong ginawa, Panginoon, sa babaeng dinudugo, Panginoon, yes. labing dalawang taon, Panginoon. Lord God, hindi maikli, Panginoon, ang iyong kamay, Panginoon, sa generation namin ngayon, Panginoon, gawin niyo rin po, Panginoon, sa aming mga kapatid, o Lord God, ang lahat ng kapangyarihan na ranasan, Panginoon, sa bagong tipan, Panginoon, sa aming generasyon ngayon, Lord God. Lord, dinadalahin ko po, Panginoon, uh, si Juanito Tan, Senior, na mayroong anxiety and depression, Panginoon. Lord, kayo po ang Panginoon ang kumilo sa kanya, Panginoon. Kayo po, Panginoon, yung magpaalis, Panginoon, ng uh, depression na ito, Panginoon. At maging din po, Panginoon, fast uh, recovery po, Panginoon, sa Kemel Batan, Panginoon. At uh, Lord Alisa Gonzales, uh, pagalingin niyo po, Panginoon, yung kanyang cough and asthma, Panginoon. Sa family po, Panginoon, ni ni J. Abijay, Mapia Abijay, neg na nawa po, Panginoon, ay maging negative po, Panginoon, sa swap Jesus test name. nila, Panginoon, in Jesus' mighty name. At Lord, ang, <coughs> ang tuhod po, Panginoon, at saka ang hita, Panginoon, na, na masakit kay Lenny Rivera, kay Matilde Bonifacio, at uh, sa kay uh, Inang Arsenia Magno, Lord God, ang tatay po, ang nanay po, Panginoon, ni eh, Brolando, Lord God. Lord, ang Amen. anak po niya, Panginoon, ang magina po ito, Lord God, tinataas ko din po sa inyo, Lord God. Kayo po, Panginoon, ang kumilo sa kanila at nawawali, Panginoon, makilala nila na ikaw ang dakilang manggagamo to, Lord Amen. God. Lord, salamat din po, Panginoon, sa... Uh, patuloy na kagalingan na ipinagkaloob mo, Panginoon. At Lord, meron pong thanksgiving, Panginoon, sapagkat pinagaling niyo po, Panginoon, yung nag-positive sa COVID, Panginoon. Lord God, salamat, Panginoon. Purihin ka, Panginoon, kay Rosette and Alan Duele. At uh, salamat din po, Panginoon, sa protection mo, Panginoon, kay Cindy Cagas and family sa, at sa buong pamilya po, Panginoon. Lord, salamat po, Panginoon. Maging din po, Panginoon, yung mga nagpa-positive ngayon, Panginoon, sa COVID, Lord God, si Gina Gio, Lord God, uh, Lord God, yung sa, ay, no, Lord, sa City Scan, Panginoon, nawa po, Panginoon, kay ay, Gina Gio ay maging negative po, Panginoon, yung kanyang City Scan, no, Lord God. Good health po, Panginoon, sa family po, Panginoon, ni Juliana Roque, Lord God, at Alioda, Julia, Grace, Sonia, Mark, and Jace, Jace, 
Salamat po Panginoon sa good health ng family ito Lord God at nawa po Panginoon one day Lord God matagpo ang kanila Panginoon at makilala nila Panginoon ikaw ang nagbibigay ng uh, malusog na pangangatawa no Lord God. Lord kay Kuya Ramon Panginoon sa LRC Dabao Panginoon. Yes. Lord ang dalangin ko pa Panginoon sa kuya namin ito Lord God yung miraculous healing mo po, Panginoon. Lord, kahit po sabihin pa ng doktor, Panginoon, na kami mamamatay na ngayon, pag hindi niyo po niloob, Lord God, kayo po ang masusunod, Panginoon. Lord, yung kalooban mo ang masunod. Lord, alam ko po, Panginoon, na kapag mayroong ta mga tao kang ginagamit, na nananalangin para sa mga taong ito, Lord God, alam ko po, Lord God, na hindi maikli ang iyong kamay, Panginoon, upang hindi kumilos, Panginoon, sa aming uh, kapatid na ito, Lord God. Lord, alam ko po, Panginoon, meron kang magandang plano, Panginoon. Kaya, Lord God, sa oras pong ito, binibigay ko po siya sa inyo, Lord God, sa iyong mga kamay, Panginoon. Lord, kung sinabi man ng doktor, Lord God, na six months na lang ang buhay niya, Panginoon. Lord, ikaw ang makapagsasabi nito, Panginoon. Ikaw lamang ang nakakaalam, Panginoon, ng buhay at kamatayan ng isang tao, Panginoon. Kaya, Lord God, salamat, Panginoon. At uh, ikaw po, Lord God, yung uh, humawak, Panginoon, kay Kuya Ramon, Panginoon. At Lord, alam ko po, Panginoon, pag dumating, Panginoon, yung panahon mo, Lord God. Lord, alam ko po, Panginoon, libo-libong angels mo ang magpupuli sa iyo, Lord God. Kay, uh, kay Christopher Biala, Lord God, yung brain tumor, Lord God. Lord, ang sakit ay isang pangalan lang, Lord God. At uh, ang pangalan ito, Lord, ay isang sakit na ikaw, Lord, ang nakakaalam, nakapagpapagaling, ikaw ang great healer, Panginoon. Lord, ikaw, Siya, nung po ikaw ay napako sa krus ng Kalbaryo, Panginoon, lahat ng iyong sugat na tinamo, Panginoon, yun yung naging kagalingan namin, no, Lord God. Kaya, Lord God, salamat, Panginoon, inaangkin namin, Lord God, yung mga kagalingan, Lord God, ng mga taong ito, Panginoon, yung mga pangalang ito, Lord God. Lord, si Pastor Aga na nagpositive yeah, yeah. sa COVID, Lord God. Lord, uh, patuloy po Panginoon na kayo ang mag-comfort sa kanya. Patuloy mo Panginoon na ipakita sa kanya na ikaw ang great healer, Lord God. At kay Lilac uh, Faith Gonzales na lumalaki yung tiyan niya. Hindi, hindi malaman, hindi pa alam kung ano ang result ng mga doktor. At Lord, sa oras pong ito, Lord God, pinadalangin po namin siya, tinataas namin siya sa inyo. Patuloy mo po, Panginoon, na mangusap ka sa Kanya. Patuloy po, Panginoon, magpakilala ka sa Kanya na Ikaw ang great healer. Ikaw, Panginoon, yung dakilang manggagamot, o Lord God. Kay Russell Almario na stage 3 uh, cervical cancer. Uh, nawa Lord God, ay patuloy nyo rin po Panginoon na pagalingin ang uh, taong ito Lord God, ang kapatid namin ito Lord God, kay Ramil Cos na maging normal ang kanyang uh, siya tinin maging maayos ang kanyang kidney, gawin nyo po Panginoon lahat ng internal organs niya Panginoon, Lord God uh, hindi po maikli ang iyong kamay Panginoon upang hindi ka gumalaw sa kapatid namin ito Lord God, Lord patuloy po Panginoon na niluluhod namin ito ang mga taong ito Lord sa inyo Lord God kayo po Panginoon sa kayo din na Hugadora fast healing and recovery din po maging din po Panginoon sa aming tatay na uh, tatay spiritual Panginoon tatay bag Panginoon Lord yung kanya po Panginoon uh, kamay Lord God yung kanya po health Panginoon yung kanya protection na niyo po siya Panginoon Lord mula ulo hanggang paa Panginoon ko pero no po siya Panginoon ang yung banal mundo ko Panginoon Lord siya po ay ginagamit mo Panginoon mightily effectively Lord God sa gawain mo Lord God Lord hindi po, hindi po mag magiging isang magandang patotoo, Panginoon, kung may sakit siya, Lord God. Kaya, Lord God, ikaw, Lord, ang kumilos ko, Panginoon, ang humipo, Panginoon, sa kanyang uh, physical na katawa, no, Lord God. At, Lord, at uh, salamat, Panginoon, at inaangkin mo na po ang kagalingan, Panginoon, Lord God, ng kanyang kamay, ng kanyang paa, ng kanyang kalagayan, sa ang kanyang health, Lord God, in Jesus' mighty name. Salamat po, Panginoon, sa kagalingan, Lord Lord God. At patuloy po, Panginoon, na eh, dinadalangin ko pa rin po, Panginoon, yung uh, tiyahin ni Sis Gemma di Makali, si Carl, Sis Carmen, at saka yung sa family po ni, nila, Panginoon, na may sakit po, Panginoon, arthritis, Lord God. Patuloy mo po, Panginoon, na pagalingin, Panginoon, ang tiyahin niya na si Ate Carmen, Lord God. Patuloy po, Panginoon, na kayo ang kumilos, Panginoon, sa buhay nila, at patuloy po, Panginoon, na 
uh, inaangkin ko ang kagalingan sa buhay ng pa pamilyang ito, Lord God. At mga isang pamilya ni Sis Gemma, Lord God, na mga Panginoon ay patuloy niyang ma ma maibigay, Panginoon, at masyara niya, Panginoon, ng salvation, Panginoon, yung kanya po, Panginoong pamilya, Lord God. Salamat din po, Panginoon, sa proteksyon, Panginoon, na na uh, uh, negative silang lahat sa COVID, Panginoon, Lord. Salamat, Panginoon. Lord, ang lahat, Panginoon, ng mga taong ito na aming itinaas sa iyo, Lord God. Uh, ang lahat, Panginoon, na ng mga pangalan ito, Panginoon, kilala mo po silang lahat, Panginoon. Sa iyo ko po, Panginoon, ipinagtitiwala, Panginoon, at inaangkin, Panginoon, ang kagalingan, Panginoon, kalakasan, proteksyon, Panginoon, ang, ang kapangyarihan mo, Panginoon, ang siyang uh, ma, 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 mapapasa ka nila sa pangalan ni Jesus. Ito po ang aming panalangin. Amen. In Jesus mighty name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Maraming Diyos na makapangyarihan sa lahat sa oras pong ito, Panginoon. Minsan pa, dinudulog po namin, Panginoon, ang prayer for the body of Christ, oh God. Tunay nga, Panginoon, na aswan, itinataas po namin, Panginoon, ang iyong mga anak, Panginoon, lahat po ng mananampalataya sa inyo, Panginoon. Itong body of Christ, Panginoon, tunay nga, Panginoon, na magkaroon po ng uh, conviction, kagaya po ng aming pong narinig, Panginoon, na magkaroon sila ng consistent prayer sa kanilang buhay, Panginoon, dahil sinabi, nga, sinabi mo po sa inyong salita, Panginoon, sa aklat po ng Mateo 2641, na kami po ay maging um, we watch and pray that we will not enter into temptation because the spirit is indeed willing but the flesh is weak. Kaya bawat isa, Panginoon, na mananampalataya body of Christ as one, Panginoon, tunay nga, Panginoon, na magkaroon po talaga sila ng desire sa puso nila, Panginoon, na yung kanilang prayer life, Panginoon, ay maayos po nila sa buhay nila. Nang sa ganun, Panginoon, lahat po ay maging uh, ang, ang, ang flow ng buhay po namin at patuloy, O Diyos, na ito po ay maging maayos, Panginoon. Lord, dalangin po namin, Panginoon, na aswan, Panginoon, na magkaroon, Panginoon, ng unity, Amen. ang body of Christ, Panginoon. Amen. Lord, nire-review namin ang lahat ng ganaw o gawa ng kaaway, yung mga pagkampi-kampi o yung mga lahat ng hindi kalugod-lugod na nilalagay sa isip ng mga anak ng, ng, sa anak Lord. ng Diyos. Ito po ay winawasak namin sa pangalan ni Jesus, Amen. in Jesus' name, at yung unity, yung pong love, Panginoon at yung pong peace sa puso ng bawat isang Panginoon ang maramdaman po ng mga anak ng Diyos na ito, Panginoon. At Lord, tunay nga Panginoon na i-convict mo sila, Panginoon, na yun pong purpose ng pagtawag mo sa kanila ay magawa nila sa kanilang buhay, Panginoon. At tunay nga Panginoon na sa bawat isang Panginoon ay magkaroon, Panginoon, na yun pong uh, conviction din, Panginoon, na patuloy na sumunod o sa kanilang isip, Panginoon, na lalahan po nila na meron pong authority na dapat nilang sundin sa bawat church po nila, Panginoon, na tinutuluyan, Panginoon. Salamat, Panginoon. At kiniklaim po namin na kayo po ang siyang mag-ayos sa lahat po ng mga churches po, Panginoon. Kagaya po, Panginoon, na hindi lamang po yung physical, kundi lahat po, Panginoon, ng mental, at saka yung emotional po ng mga aspects po ng bawat mananampalataya. Tuloy nga po, Panginoon, na kayo lamang, oh God, Lord, itinataas po namin sa inyo na kayo po ang mag-aayos po, Panginoon. Lord, salamat po at hindi lamang po yun, kundi we are praying for our country. Lahat po ng countries, especially po ang bansang Pilipinas, yes. yung pong government po, especially po yung aming presidente, Panginoon. Tuloy nga, Panginoon, na ina-acknowledge po namin na siya po yung iniligay niyo pong authority yes. na sa bansang ito, Panginoon, na siya Thank pong you, mamuno. Lord, We pray, Panginoon, na bigyan mo siya ng mga subordinates po niya na yung pong may takot sa inyo na ang bawat i-advise lamang po sa aming presidente, Panginoon, ay yung pong uh, ayon lamang po sa yung kalooban po, Panginoon. Lord, we pray, Panginoon, na bigyan mo, Panginoon, ang aming presidente, Panginoon, ng mal malakas na pangangatawan, Panginoon. Nakikita niyo, Panginoon, ang kanyang physical po, Panginoon, kung ano man po yun. Lord, tunay nga, Panginoon, na nagpipray po kami, Panginoon, na Lord, bigyan mo siya, Panginoon, ng ayong kanyang kumula ulo hanggang paa, Panginoon, ay kinocover po namin ng yung banana to go. In Jesus' name, we cover our President Duterte with your blood that no work 
works of the enemy na makapasok sa buhay na nagano Panginoon ay mahaba pa po ang kanyang buhay na paglilingkod po sa aming bansa dahil tuloy alam po namin siya po ay may takot sa inyo Panginoon Lord salamat po at ganun din po Panginoon give, give our president ng wisdom, ng knowledge kung paano po Uh, gagawa po Panginoon ng maparaan para po maayos po ang pagpapatakbo niya po ng aming bansa at patuloy Panginoon na yung mga ibang tao Panginoon ay patuloy o Diyos na patulungan po niya po Panginoon Lord salamat sa buhay ng aming Presidente ganun din po Panginoon yung mga tao Panginoon we pray Lord na kayo po ang mag mag-convict sa bawat isang Panginoon na magkaroon pa po ng submissive heart Lord, sa, sa ito, authority na, na, na binigay mo sa aming bansa po, Panginoon. Lord, we pray din po, Panginoon, prayer for Mindanao. Lord, yung uh, PIVOP says there's possible earthquake that is 8.0 magnitude. We pray that God will spare us from the disaster and calamities. Lord, tuloy ka, Panginoon, ito po ay... Uh, Uh, nasasabi lang po ng mga tao pero alam namin o Diyos na yung pong pa rin uh, plano mo pa rin ang mangyayari Panginoon tunay ka o Diyos na nagtitiwala po kami sa inyo na kayo lamang o God ang, ang ito, kayo lamang o Diyos ang nakakaalam kung anong mangyayari po sa aming bansa we pray Panginoon na ito po Panginoon ispero mo yung aming bansang Pilipinas tunay ka Panginoon na bigyan mo po kami ng chance bigyan mo pa yung chance ng mga tao Panginoon na sila po ay makakilala po pa sa inyo, Panginoon. Lord, salamat o Diyos sa pag-iingat mo sa aming bansang Pilipinas at sa mga tao po. Amen. Thank you, Lord. At ganun din po, Panginoon, pinag-pray po namin, pinag-pray namin lahat ng LRCs around the world. Lord, lahat po ng mga pastors and leadership. Lord, ang LRC LA, LRC Dubai, LRC Davao, LRC Takorong, yes. yung LRC Pilipinas, yes. at ito pong LRC Abu Dhabi po. Lahat po Panginoon, yung pong mga pastors na namumuno, lahat po ng leadership po nito. Lord, we pray, Lord, na magkawal po ng unity, Panginoon, ng bawat pastors, mga leaders, at lahat po Panginoon, ng mga disciples. Tunay nga, Panginoon, ang pagmamahal mo, ang siyang magbubuklod po sa amin. Lord, paramdaman po namin, iparamdam po namin sa iba, sa mga kasama, kapatiran po namin. Yung love na naramdaman po namin ay iparamdam po namin sa kanilang Panginoon. Lord, tunay nga, Panginoon, nabigyan mo kami ng submissive heart. Kami po, para po pagsabit kami sa mga authority na pinagdaloob po, Panginoon, sa churches na ito po'y ginagalawan po namin, Panginoon. We pray, Panginoon, na yung pong harmony ng bawat church. Lord, tunay nga, Panginoon, maramdaman po namin. At tunay nga, Panginoon, na nire-review namin lahat ng gawa ng kaaway. Kung ano man yung lahat na ginagawa, ginagawa ni Satan sa mapag-isip ng mga members in Jesus' name. We review them all. At ito pa yung nawasak namin. Tunay nga, Diyos, Panginoon, Jesus, na kayo po. Your love, Panginoon, yung pa yung ng... Mangunguna po sa bawat sa sa isa sa amin, Panginoon. Salamat, Panginoon, at yung pong pinag-pray po namin ang salvation po ng aming mga mahal sa buhay. Lord, tunay nga, Panginoon, lalo na o Diyos, yung mga first generation Christians. Tunay nga, Panginoon, na pinapadalangin po namin sila na yung stand firm sila, Panginoon, sa faith nila. Lord, na nagilala ka nila as Lord and Savior, Panginoon. Ito po ay may share po namin sa aming mga mahal sa buhay, Panginoon. Tunay, Panginoon, na gusto po namin, Lord, na yung mga, mga mahal namin sa buhay din, Panginoon, ay maligtas. Hindi lamang po kami at ganun din, O oh, Diyos, sa mga ibang mga relatives and friends po namin, O oh, God. Lord, salamat at alam po namin na yun nga po, malapit na po kayong dumating. Tunay nga, Panginoon, na Lord, bigyan mo po kami ng chance na panahon, Panginoon, na ma-share po namin na magkaroon din po sila ng salvation, Panginoon, ng sa ganun after life, Panginoon, after mag doon po ay sama-sama po pa rin kami, Panginoon, na doon po sa iyong kaharian, Panginoon. Lord, salamat at oh, meron pong special prayer request po kay Brother Ronan Sandoval and Brother Greg Basa. Lord, We pray, Panginoon, na sila, Panginoon, ay makakilala sa inyo, Panginoon. Lord, tang matanggap ka nila o makilala ka nila as their Lord and Savior sa buhay nila, Panginoon. Gumamit ka po, Panginoon, ng mga tao, Panginoon, na mag-share sa kanila o magpapatuto, Panginoon, na tunay na, Panginoon, na kayo po, Panginoon, sa inyo lamang po ang salvation po, Panginoon. Ganun din, O God, sa mga mahal namin sa buhay na malayo po sa amin, mga nasa Pilipinas o nasa ibang bansa, Panginoon. 
Kung hindi man po kami ang iyong gagamitin, Lord, yung mga tao po sa kapaligiran po nila, tunay nga Panginoon na makapag-share sa kanila at matanggap ka nila as their Lord and Savior po, Panginoon. Salamat, O God, at tunay nga Panginoon. Lahat po ito ay request po namin, O God. But still, tunay nga Panginoon na your will be done pa rin sa buhay namin, Panginoon. Ito ay hinihiling namin sa inyo sa bagay. Kayo pa rin po ang nakakaalam yung best po para sa amin. So, your will be done, O God, sa aming buhay. Salamat po, Ama. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 So, I would like to uh, ask you all to please uh, continue uh, close your eyes and bow down your head. And before this, I would like you to think of that person na gusto mong makasama, makapartner sa iyong mga friends. Okay? I want you to close your eyes right now while thinking of that person na nais mo makasama sa mga prayer mo. Yung pong ating sinasabi na prayer partner. We need to we need to do this, mga anak. Please, please understand that we need to do this from this time onwards. We need to be, uh, to encourage everyone to pray consistently as what the Lord has told us tonight. So, the best thing na gagawin natin sa mga natutunan natin tonight is yung maghanap tayo ng prayer partner. Amen. And this will go on the rest of our lives. While you are still alive. Kupon, kung meron kang asawa, of course, ang prayer partner mo, yung asawa mo, o yung friend mo, o sino man yung friend mo, okay, kung meron kang piyansi, ka relationship, that's the best people na pwede mong isama sa prayer mo. Kupon, yes. napaka-importante mo dito. For us, to be consistent, be accountable to each other. Amen. Because this time, we really need to pray. We really need to pray hard, consistently, na po, sa ating Diyos na takapagligtas. Amen? Amen? So right now, I want you to close your eyes. I want you to close your eyes. Father in heaven, we want to thank you for tonight. Thank you, Father, for everyone who are still here. Nanood po, Panginoon, nakinig sa inyong mensahe tonight. Lord God, thank you so much and I pray that you will bless everyone who hear the message. You will bless everyone, Lord God, na, na, na may nagbibigay ng time for them to really understand yung mensahe niyo, Lord God, na hindi sila nawala, agreeing to all our prayers, joining here in this kind of uh, ministry, Lord God, to, uh, to really focus our lives, our, ourselves in, 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 in our communication to you through our prayers. So tonight, Lord God, Whoever people na pinili na mga taong naririnig right now ito prayer na to Lord God, I pray that everybody will be agree to each other. That simula ngayon, Lord God, every one of us will be consistent in our prayer, Lord. Give us conviction, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. Holy Spirit, please convict every one of us. Convict each and every one of us to be to be regular in talking to you, communicating to you, Lord God, through prayer. And Lord God, by, by having this wisdom for you, na kami po magkaroon ng prayer partner, this will be a great opportunity for us, not only to pray for ourselves, but for the people, Lord God, na na aming kapartner, Lord God. And besides that, we will be consistent, uh, consistent in our prayer. At hindi po kami mawala in connecting to you, Lord God, in our spirit. Thank you, Lord God. I pray, Panginoon, na lahat po ng mga prayer Amen. na aming itinasa inyo, Lord God, is hindi lang tumagos sa roof na aming mga tahanan, ngunit tatagos sa kalangitan, Panginoon, Amen. sa paanan ninyo, Lord God, sa baba na inyong trono, Panginoon. Thank you so much that you never changed, Lord God. That you are still the same yesterday, today, and forever. And you are still our God. Lord, we declare that tonight you are still our God, our Savior. Lord God, that we cannot do anything without you. You are the King of all kings, the Lord of all lords, the God of all gods, the founder, the chairman, the God of this church, Panginoon. Salamat po, Lord God, for everything that you're doing in our lives. And once more, Lord God, before we close this, we pray, Lord God, we pray, don't allow us, Lord, please, to decide something that is not according to your will. Lord God. Panginoon, kung kami man po mag-decide ng something sa buhay namin, personally, most especially sa ministry, Lord, that you have entrusted us, Lord, don't, please, don't agree. Don't, don't let us do something that is outside your will. Lord God, kapag kami nag-decide ng something na hindi nyo po uh, plano for us, Lord, sa simula pa lamang, Panginoon, 
Lord, putulin nyo na o bigyan nyo kami ng paraan na hindi matuloy. Pero pag pagkagustuhan ninyo, Lord God, please, we beg you, Lord God, lead us, Holy Spirit, guide us. Give us the understanding, the knowledge, the wisdom for us to walk according to your will, according to your plans, according to your purpose, Panginoon, sa church na ito na pinagkatiwala niyo sa amin, Lord God. Maraming maraming salamat po, Lord. We will continue to declare that without you, we are nothing. Amen. Lord God, salamat po. And we will claim more testimonies of your goodness, yes. more yes. testimonies of your faithfulness to each yes. and everybody who are listening here right now. To each and everybody who are uh, who are part of this congregation, Panginoon. Amen. Salamat po, Lord. Mga, un un mga unmentioned prayer right now, lahat po tinataas kami sa inyo. Whatever the desires of everyone, Lord God. Lord, I pray that you will grant it to them so that your name will be glorified, your name will be testified, your name will be lifted up. In Jesus' name we pray. And everybody will say and agree. Amen. Amen and amen. Oh, salamat po. Salamat po natin ng Panginoon. Salamat po, Lord God. Thank you so much. Alright. So, so, kung bless ka, mga kapatid, come on. The last comment that you will put right now is thanking Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your message, for your blessing tonight. Come on, everybody. Thank you, Lord, for your blessing, for your message tonight. Okay? Papakilala ko po sa inyo, prayer partner. Come on, mayroon ka rito. Papakilala kita. Hindi kailangan. Hindi kailangan. Hindi kailangan. Hindi so, ang prayer partner ko po si Pastor Grace, I declare it in Jesus' name. Amen. So, of course, sabi ko kanina, ang prayer partner ninyo, ipag-pray niya, itas niyo kay Lord. And starting today, lahat po tayo, let's remind each other that we always need to be connected to our God and our Savior. Amen? Thank you so much, mga kapatid. Thank you for commenting. Lahat ng nag-comment, in Jesus' name, Lord, bigyan mo ng unlimited blessings. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Dito pong 170 na tao right now, Panginoon, na hanggang ngayon nandito pa. Bless them, Lord God, in all aspects of their lives. In Jesus' name, I declare it. Amen. 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 Isang palakas na palang pauli ni Lord. We love you, everybody. God bless you. Receive this. Let the love of the Father the peace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Love you. God bless.